Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. It is great to be here today to celebrate these great mysteries, these great mysteries that Christ has brought to us. But before we begin, let us take time to recall our sins and our failures to better prepare ourselves for these mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath, he entered into discussion in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, your blood be on your heads. I'm clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household and many of the Corinthians who heard, believed, and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father... So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, 
Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You ever read scripture and just start scratching your head? It's not just you, it's also the apostles. What does he mean by this? This doesn't make sense. Once again, I think we need to really appreciate the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit guiding us, the Holy Spirit giving to us some understanding. As Jesus has said this week, the Holy, He's going to be sending us the Advocate so that we can understand. So let us really call to the Holy Spirit to open up our hearts. The Holy Spirit guides the church and to continue in that prayer, Holy Spirit, please guide our church, guide our leaders. When people come to me and complain about the pastor or the bishop or the pope or the magisterium or whoever they want to complain about that day, I remind them, the Holy Spirit's in charge. It is the Holy Spirit in charge. Are you willing to abandon yourself? Are you willing to surrender yourself to listen to the Holy Spirit and not fight these earthly fights that are fought within the church and outside the church? Jesus gives us this advocate of the Holy Spirit so that we may listen. Jesus gives us the advocate of the Holy Spirit that we might have the courage to act. Jesus gives us the advocate of the Holy Spirit that we might love and share that love with the world. What does this mean that he is saying to us, a little while and you will not see me, and again, a little while you will see me? We're there with the apostles scratching our heads on what he's trying to say. But at the same time, we trust. We trust that we will see him. We trust that he is with us. We trust that he loves us. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you to offer you our prayers and our petitions. For our Holy Father and all bishops, may the Holy Spirit continue guiding them in sanctifying and teaching the faithful with great love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the Lord guide them toward a path of peace for all peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are alone or in need of community, May the Lord be their refuge and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have received, recently been received into the church, may the graces of the Easter sacraments continue to strengthen them in their journey of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Monsignor Pascuzzi, and for all who have died, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, 
May they behold the face of God and live. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, these are but a few of our prayers and petitions. We humbly ask them to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offering, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the child of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, where the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. In this man, body, blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, by the will of the Father, and the Holy Spirit, through her death, give life to the world. Bring me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and me. Keep me faithful to your commandments, and none of be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Amen. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.